Got a little flat right here I'm gonna cast on while I'm heading to my fishing spot. Maybe we'll pick up a trout on the way. Oh, there's a bump. Just got a little bump. Got a little bump right there. Bumped at it again. Come on, get it, dude. Come on, three times, four times. <laughs> All right, I spot locked. <laughs> Four times he smacked at it. Come on, man, get it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, now that was, oh doggone it, that was a nice trout. Dang it, man. Oh, that was a good trout. <laughs> hey, hey, rad reelers, what's up? Well, you guys, I've got some big pin fish and some big pig fish. I went out yesterday for about three hours, found me a nice spot where I was catching some good baits. My plan, you guys, is to hit these docks today with some big pin fish and pig fish and also got some little grunts. See if we can't catch a big freaking grouper. But first, I'm going to throw some top water because it's a beautiful morning. We had a super low tide, man. I can get right under these docks with this top water this morning. It's like the heck with this top water, dude. I got to put a big old freaking pinfish on and flip a pinfish under there. I ain't. I came to catch some big groupers. Start out with a pig fish. He just might drive a freaking grouper crazy up under there if there's one hanging out. Guys, I'm gonna give him a drop right under this old crusty old boat. This freaking boat has been sitting here forever. Might have to put some weight on here. Get this guy down. Yeah, we're gonna have to get put a split shot on there. This guy just refuses to go down to the bottom. He's just tangled up in something down there. Oh, it is a hit. Oh, yeah, baby. Here we go. The targeted species. <laughs> a grouper. Oh, my God. Dude, he he freaking ate that big old grunt, man. That, that grunt was giant. Oh, my God. The targeted species, baby. Nice. That's a, that's a good grouper to start out with. Not bad. He's that grunt was about six inches long. Nice gag, man. Nice gag. That's one of several we're going to catch today. All right, all right, all right. My plan is working, baby. <laughs> Got us a gag on like the second or third drop there, man. Nice. All right, let me get back here and get some more baits. I got a, I got a bucket full of big baits, man. Look at, look at the size of these. Look at the size of these pin. I got about four pinfish that size. I got a couple more pigfish that big. Yeah, we're, we're looking for big grouper today. We ain't messing around with them little guys. We're looking for the big hosses. Yeah, buddy. We got us another pigfish. Get him right on the edge of this boat. Get down there and do some magic, man. Do some magic. There he goes. He swam right under the boat. There we go, baby. There we go. Look at how, ooh, 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 that's a hit. Oh my God, he just got hammered. He just got hammered. There we go. Oh, it's, oh, dang, I got broke off. No, I didn't, it just came undone. Oh, that was a good fish. Oh, that was a good freaking fish. Dang it. All right, I'm dropping this giant guy down there. <laughs> oh, this guy's swimming way out here, away from the boat. Dude, swim under the boat. You know what? This guy's just swimming all over the place. I might have to put another split shot on there. Get him to go down. He won't. He's refusing to go down. Oh, no, no, no. Just threw it right over the thing. This dang pinfish just refuses to cooperate. Get back underneath that boat. The current's starting to move pretty good here change it up altogether. Change my rig to a fish finder. I got a two ounce sinker, swivel, about two and a half feet of line. This is a four-aught circle hook. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I think we're getting a hit. I think we're getting a hit. 
he found some junk down there. Alright, let's make a move. We need to find us a grouper. We need to find us a grouper. That's a big old boat, man. She's seen some big waves in her day, I'm sure. All right. <laughs> no more hits, man. That was a good hit I had where I lost him. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice little grouper I caught, too. I'm going to head to the Rad Reef, see if we can't get on a big grouper over there. I know there's a big grouper there, so let's do it, baby. Got an osprey right here. Ooh, he's got a fish. Man, it's, it's hard to pass up these docks, but... I'm gonna head to the Rad Reef first. Well, I got some good baits. I don't want to waste them. Let's see what happens if we flip a DOA shrimp up there. There he is. There he is. What do we got? Little gag. Got the DOA shrimp. I want your granddaddy. See ya. All right. I'm just kind of all over the place. Like. Let's fish pinfish, let's fish some topwater, let's just throw a DOA shrimp while we're over here. This dock just looks too good to pass up. I caught some keeper sea bass off this dock. Fish on. Little gag. I'm pretty sure that's Brian Johnson's house right there. I've been looking for that dude. Finally found it. Dig got us a big old pinfish. Oh, what the freak is that? What the heck was that? A manatee? Did he get it? That was weird. It looked like he was following my pinfish. Oh, it's a dolphin. I think it's a dolphin. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's a freaking dolphin. Ah, got a little smaller pinfish I'm going to throw up there. Oh, we got a fish. What is it? Chunk of coral. Big chunk of coral. It's the second time I've caught a nice big chunk of coral, coral off the Rad Reef. This, this piece of coral was just loaded with crabs. Look at them. Bunch of little crabs on there. Got a sea slug on it. All right, I got some small grunts here. Let's see if we can get something to hit him. A little smaller bait. There he is, look at that. Smaller bait, and I got, oh, I got rocked up. Darn it. He's out. No. I feel him on there. He's hooked good. Look, 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 look. There he is. There he is. All right. We got us a gag. Targeted species. I just had to put on a smaller bait. At least I know there's fish that are still here. <laughs> Not the big gag I'm looking for. They sure are pretty, though. Oh, he's got a crab in there. Look. He's got a crab in there, or a mussel or something. Spit up some shrimp. I don't know. You can keep that, dude. All right. Thanks, buddy. Got a lot, lot smaller bait I'm fishing with now. Drop this guy down there. See what happens. Thought I was getting a hit. There he is. There he is. Another little gag. Oh, big sea bass, man. Big sea bass. Yeah. That's a keeper. Put this guy on the magic angler paddle. See how big he is. Oh, yeah. He ten and a half. Easy ten and a half keeper. We got a sea bass in the box. Cut this guy up for bait. 
see if we can get a grouper on some cut bait here. Fish home. We got another one. We got another one. What do we got? Another big sea bass. Another nice sea bass, man. Oh, he just flipped in the water. Darn it. That was a good sea bass. Darn it, man. There's a hit. We getting a hit again. Coming to me. Hey, we got him that time. We got him that time. Big old sea bass. Probably another keeper. 11 inch sea bass, baby. Nice, nice, nice. Another one in the box. So I don't usually fish with cut bait. But it seems to be working. So whatever works, man, stick with it. I'll take some keeper sea bass. I came out here to catch a big grouper, but I've been fishing these live pin fish, man. I haven't had any luck. I still got some more live ones. I got a couple that are perfect size. So I'm going to hit some docks here. I just want to, I want to catch me some more keeper fish to eat, man. I gave a friend of mine a bunch of fish the other day. I had mangrove snapper and sea bass and flounder. Gave him a lot of fish. I only kept one pack for me, some mangrove snapper. I need to get my freezer restocked. There we go. Fish on. It took a while. We got another sea bass. He's too small. No doubt about it. Thanks, buddy. All right. I've been messing around here with these little fish long enough. Let's go see if we can find a big grouper around one of these docks on a live pinfish. So I caught a really nice gag grouper right here on this dock about a month ago. So I am spot locked up. Let's see if we can make it happen. Flip a little pinfish up there. Dang it. Crap. I just rigged that thing up too, man. Doggone it. Ah. <sighs> Not easy fishing around structure. Not easy fishing around structure. But that's where the fish are at. Dang it, gotta retie. While I'm retying, I'll throw a piece of cut bait under that dock, see if we can get us a sea bass. Just had a hit back here. Feeling like a big old sea bass. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, I think we got another keeper, man. We got another keeper. Big old fat sea bass. Put this dude on my magic angler paddle again just to make sure he's a keeper but i've caught enough of these guys to know if yep, he's 11 inches easy 11 inch sea bass nice 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 baby number three in the box i keep taking time to tie an fg knot fg knot like it goes through the guides of the fishing rod a lot better than any other knot and i'm just having a laid back fishing trip here so i take time it takes me about a minute and a half two minutes to tie an fg knot depending on how much of a hurry i'm in so this fishing rod right here is seven foot long so that's how long i make my leader i always make my leaders as long as my fishing rod and i always use monofilament leader almost always Somebody gave me some fluorocarbon, so sometimes I use fluorocarbon, but monofilament is reasonably priced. I buy it at Walmart, Trilene, or I buy it online. I'll buy Andy Brand online. Reasonably priced, and uh, I catch the heck out of fish, so I just don't believe in using fluorocarbon. I'm not a fluorocarbon guy. Some people are. Anglers have different things they like to use, and uh, I like to save my money and just use monofilament instead of paying like five times the price for fluorocarbon. I don't think it makes any difference. From what I understand, monofilament is more abrasive resistance than fluorocarbon. People have always said fluorocarbon was more abrasion resistant, but uh, Salt Strong did a test and they, they came up with the results that monofilament is more abrasion resistance resistant than fluorocarbon. So. All right, let me get a hook tied on here and get a pinfish back on. Oh, and look who showed up. You better stay away. All right, I, I am re-rigged. I have the perfect size pinfish. Get out of here. Get. All right. Get. Oh, 
Just got hit. Just got hit. That's a hit. That's a hit. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Dude. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> All right. Nice. That's a good gag right there, baby. <laughs> kinds of weeds on him. Nice. I am in search of that big old fat gag. And let me get out the magic angler paddle. Give this guy a measurement. He would be an 18 inch gag grouper. That is a good looking gag grouper right there. Yeah, buddy. Another big one. All right, buddy. Thanks for the catch. Yeah. <laughs> All right, my plan's working. I think that was like the last perfect size pinfish that I have. But I was just talking to that guy up there and I told him I was fishing for gag grouper. And he said, right underneath those palm trees. That's exactly where I caught that gag grouper. Sweet. All right, let's get back on it. Man, I thought that grouper was giant. There was so much grass on there. I thought it was huge. I'm like, man, I got me a keeper. It's my last live bait, guys. All right, guys, it's been a while. That last bait finally died. I'm gonna switch over and throw a Little John Miralure Golden Brim with a 16th ounce jig head with some Procure inshore scent on it. The tide's not moving at all. I don't have much confidence that I'm gonna catch anything, but let's see if we can get some more Keeper Sea Bass. There he is. Fish on. Spot lock it up. Feels like a good sea bass. Feels like a good sea bass. Oh, flounder time. Oh, he freaking got off. Dang it. There's a hit. Come on, get it, dude. There he is. Be another flounder, man. Be another flounder. Oh, are you kidding me? Big old sea bass. Big old sea bass, man. Big keeper. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. That's almost a 12 inch sea bass, y'all. Woo, that's a big one. Thanks for the catch, bud. Number four, sea bass in the box. Dang, man, I thought I had me a big old flounder. Big old fat sea bass. Nice. And here I'm talking trash about, I'm probably not going to catch anything because the current's not moving. And I hook up with two fish. Ba-bam! <laughs>